turn right back to that room five. You know? Because that's a call to you, man. Bro, come here, man. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. Come here, man. Bring that shit in, bro. This ain't got shit. Rock at the Yahweh Shah, for what a Yahweh, for what a Yahweh Shah. So lucky ya Abba Yahweh, so lucky ya Yahweh Shah. Call her law, Abba Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach Malak Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Rock a thon, for to all of those who are being diligent inside this truth. And they're doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is the Malak. And as always, make it known, it's all about the kingdom, baby. So all glory and all honor and all praises be unto the Most High Heavenly Father. So to go forward within this, um, you know, man, call it Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 24, and I'm going to start at verse um, uh, 44. It says, Therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. All right. You want to be ready. How do you be ready? You know, you, you, you keep those commandments. You know, Yahweh Shah said two of the greatest commandments, you know, that hangs up all of what is of the law is the first one, which is love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul. Right. And the second one is to love thy neighbor as you love yourself. So when he said, therefore, be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. You see? When, when it dawns on you, when you get worried, you know, in order to overcome that, you got to push yourself to do the works. You know, when you're doing the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah gets the glory out of that. You know, and when you when you see opportunities that are laid out where he's getting the glory out of it, 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 it brings a joy within you, you know, because you're doing something that, that's going to be, you know, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah as in, as in being, uh, you know, glorious. You know overall all right um verse 45 who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his lord had made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season you see give them meat in due season right and remember yahweh i had uh you know he had mentioned and he said how you know um, through the scriptures how his his meat is to do the will of the father which um i'm gonna bring that up you know, he made it known, like, hey, my meat is to, and he was telling his disciples, he was saying, my meat is to do the will of the Father, man. Saying his his meat is to, is to keep doing what he got to do and giving the Father the glory. All right? Verse 46, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Shall find, you see? Shall find, shall find so doing. Like, they wasn't slothful in this thing. They was turned up. Rather, it was making videos on social media land, rather going out there on the highways and hedges, you know, and, and, and laboring or, 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 you know, being at a work site, you know what I'm saying, at the plantation, you know, and just being able to show forth the glory of Yahweh Hashem Shah, man, and letting that light shine, you know, Matthew chapter 5 and 16, let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and glorify your father whom is in heaven, man, you know, so that's something that's, that's, that's beautiful, you know, in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Shah. You know, when you're able to have yourself in a position of, of um, taking advantage of the opportunities and when it comes down to giving him the glory, you know, and I'm going to share some too, because it's not for me to have a pad on my back or anything like that. But this is uh, this is this video is specifically on why it's important to go out there and labor, man. Why it's important to do the works of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Rather it's on social media land or rather you going out there on the highways and hedges, you know, you know, outside, you know, the highways and byways, you know. So ultimately, you doing what the spirit is having for you to do. And when it's coming down to giving your Habashim Yahweh shot of glory, hey man, you act on that. And, and you push yourself. You have yourself to be available at all times for the Rakakwadash to use you. That's where that's the mindset that you gotta carry. You know? 
Don't expect yourself to be used like, oh, I'm ready. I, I got to be all oh, the spirit using you, but it ain't using me. Oh, I don't like that. No, maybe there is something that you got to purge out yourself that the spirit may be trying to reveal to you before you can actually make that step. You know, everything is of decency and of order. And you got to in this walk. This walk is a walk of humility. You, you got to be humble in this thing. You can't you can't look for yourself to be um, exalted. You got to always have your mindset to be to be lowly. You know, the scriptures makes it known that, you know, uh, you humbling yourself, you know, he, he'll exalt you in due season. But those that exalt themselves, they will be made. You know, they will be made a base, man. I mean, they will be put down low. So as a servant of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know, we're in place of letting that light shine, which is a what? Knowledge and understanding, which is a wisdom. You see? And we walking in that. And that's that Psalms um, um, 119 and verse 105, man. You see? And going in 104, he talks about how getting how we getting that understanding through his precepts. All right? So you want to be in, on fire when it comes down to giving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah the glory at all times. At all times. If you can give Sleazy E uh, uh, overtime on a job, why can't you turn around and put that time in and, 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 and be enjoying it when it comes down to your Habba Shimi Yahweh Shah? You see? And this is the truth. And Sleazy E's kingdom is falling anyway. You know, World War III is brewing up in every aspect. Give to Caesar what is Caesar, but give to God what is God's, man. And that's what many got to understand. You want to make sure you you you, you labor to, to so heavenly riches. You know, not the things that's on the earth that's going that's going to uh, perish, man. The things that you know that 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 just you know that that are all lining up to be in as vanity. All right, verse forty-seven. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. You see, saying you gonna be rewarded for your diligence. Isn't that written? He said in Revelations, I come quickly. You see, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, man. That's that Revelation chapter. Of my reward is with me, you know. Verse forty-eight, and not only just that, but also Hebrews chapter um, eleven and verse six, how he rewards those who diligently seek him. Why would they be diligently seeking him? Going right back to forty-four, they're being ready, man. They don't know the time or the hour, but they know within themselves what they're doing is for his glory, and that's all that matters, you know. Because those who are dead in Christ will be the first to rise up, and those who are alive will be caught up in the clouds. I'm saying, call it Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Verse 48. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, you see, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken, you see, going right back into the world, going back into the wages of uh, sin, going right back into the world and not realizing the scriptures that said, he that is a friend of the world is an enemy to God, man. So you go from a place in which is which is already being made known. You got those who come in this truth and then they drop out of the truth. Why? Because they was never a part of the truth from the very beginning. They came in this thing uh, uh, looking for something that will be of what will be matching up to being worldly in a perspective to give them a comfort saying they seek comfort. That's going to be in a worldly perspective and not seek comfort in what Yahweh is trying to give to us, man. All right. Verse 50, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of. And in verse 51, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. You see, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, you know, saying they're going to be hurting in that day. Why? Because they didn't, they wasn't being faithful, man. They wasn't making it within themselves to keep those commandments. You got those who are having it within themselves to to uh to go and um, you know, they they, they you know, you can have somebody um getting a minister's license or you know, getting minister's certificates or things in that nature that's that's, that's all dealing with the matters of them wanting to show forth of uh, their efforts in serving God, right? But where they at? They they in a place where now they they, they smoking, they they drinking, they getting torn up, they doing a bunch of things that's uh showing that hey man, you know, you, you going back into the world. You know, and, and, and in that sense, you know, um, and I'm not speaking this in the matters, you know, um, towards um, any individuals. I'm just, I'm, I mean, any individual, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking this in the matters of individuals because you find this a lot of times. Those who come in as truth, 
and they end up purging themselves clean and then they go right back into their old ways and then from going back into their old ways they're not doing the works of the lord you know they go from doing camp and going in to slowing down and and, and, and you know they rib taking over their lives the women taking over their lives or oh um i can't do this because my job this and then the third they putting the job over their um their lives like they putting the women the job and everything over uh, everything else over y'all about shimmy al shah like okay if you can't hit the highways and edges you can still do social media land and show your face and labor on there right you got a 15 minute break you got an hour break right you can do something real quick and giving y'all about shimmy al shah the glory you know there is no excuses you know, and I believe excuses is only for cowards, man. And Yahweh Shah is not, he already making known, plain and clear how the cowards are going to be destroyed, man. Cowards. Cowards, man. You got to be strong and diligent and dedicated in this truth. Because you don't know who's watching you. You don't know who at a moment is needing the Rakakwadash through you. If you ain't walking in this truth as a servant, and you coming in this truth trying to be something that's going to be top notch. Hey man, you're gonna be made a base real quick. And the spirit gonna depart from you. Alright? So you gotta keep that lamp lit. Let me hit that uh what is it? John. Maybe John. John chapter 4 and verse 31. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. He's trying to let them know, like, y'all not seeing the meat that I'm eating right now? You see? Verse 33. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Have any man brought him aught to eat? Like they asking each other, like, yo, did anybody bring him something to eat? What is he talking about? Basically. See, they wasn't seeing it through the spirit, through the Rakakwadash. Right? Verse 34. Yahweh Shah said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. All right? To finish his work. So what do you think that work is? Labor, man. To labor. You gotta be turned up in this truth. You gotta be full-fledged in this truth. You can't, you gotta be ten toes down in this truth. You can't make it for yourself to be like, yo, man. This is what I'm gonna do. This is how it's gonna be. And blah 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 and so forth. You can't do that. You got to labor and do his work. All right. You got to put that work in, man. So I could go further than that, but I ain't trying to make this video all long. I just wanted to be an edifying lesson on a level where brothers and sisters can wake up and say, hey, man, um, you know, we got to labor inside this truth. And and, and you know what we're going to see, receive and what the Rakakwa Dash is doing through a war at this very moment and um, and, and, and give you how about me? I was shot of glory because uh, uh, of the opportunity, you know, and being able to 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 to, um, to acknowledge what is being said, as far as you know, remaining on fire and not having them, and not having myself to be in a place of being slothful, because you never know who may need the spirit of Yahweh Shah at a very moment, you know, because the video that um, y'all bear witness to to first, you know, the guy on there, man, hey man, this brother, you know, was getting ready to uh, you know off himself man he was getting ready to off himself he was getting ready to commit suicide you know because he felt like you know he wasn't worthy and he's sitting there like he's in a dark place and here it is he's an israelite man this brother is an israelite and that's why i always say man you got to be in this truth you know on, 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 you know walking the walk and talking that talk you got to talk that walk and walk that talk man you got to be in this truth being authentic you can't be in this truth being fake you know and that's the truth, because you you, you got people's lives, at, 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 you know, within your hands. And not only just that, you got to think about it like this. If I didn't go out there in that point in time to go labor on them highways and hedges, you see what I'm saying? That would have been bloodshed on my hands. Because for one, I'm quenching the spirit. And for two, this brother has nobody that's out there being as a light. Somebody that can turn around and, and draw him closer to you. How about she was shot? You see? And he made it within himself. You know, he would have kept walking for it and went and done what he done. He said it in the video. It's in the video on the live stream on um, on the Instagram. You know, he was getting ready to go make one pit stop. And then from making that one pit stop, that's when he turned around. And he said he was going off himself. You know, like our people need us, man. And he said all he was needing was a sign, man. And he's like, he just need that light. 
You see? And there it is. I let him know my light. I mean, my uh, my, my, my name. And I told him it's a war. And I told him in Hebrew, it means light. And he's like, I found the light. You see? And, you know, he turned around. You know, and he, and, you know, I embraced the brother. And, and you know, we, I gave him my number. And we exchanged numbers. We talked last night and everything. You know, I'm going to check on him again today. You know? And he told me to send him scriptures and things like that. And that, that, that nature, you know? But ultimately, hey, man, you got to get out there and labor and do the works. You got to do the works, man. You can't be making up no excuses. Because, you, you know, as much as you would want y'all, Bashimi, I was shot to be there for you. You got, hey, man, show show how you can be there for a brother, man. Show forth the glory and, and, and power of Yahweh Bashimi, I was shot, man. Based upon what he has given unto you. Because what he has given unto you now, if you can't handle that, then how can you expect yourself to gain anything that's going to be glorious? He's not going to put something on you more than what you, you know, if you're not able to handle with what he has given to you right now and what to labor with, you know? You know, and that's the truth. So, love y'all. Stay up, stay blessed. Call y'all. Bashimi, I was shot by Shimmer Kakwadash. Shalom.